What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustinPromotech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use the math.random generator to produce random numbers. So let's get started. Now, uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is uh, I'm going to declare a variable and it's going to have an integer data type. So I'm going to type in int, hit space, I'm going to call my variable green. And my variable is not going to have a value so I'm going to end it with a semicolon here. So now down here I'm going to say green equals then we're going to use this open and close parentheses now inside this open and close parentheses we're going to type in int because our random number is going to be an integer and have an integer data type integers are just whole numbers with no decimal points so now after this uh, closing parentheses we're going to add another open and close parentheses inside this open and close parentheses we're going to type in capital m now the m is only capital the rest are lowercase a c h dot random right so math.random. Now, again, uh, right before this closing curly brace and after the M, we're going to type in another open uh, parentheses here. And it's automatically going to add this closing. So we need it. So let's start from the top. I declared a variable. I called it green. And it has an integer data type. I said green equals open and close parentheses. This uh, uh, integer data type, int, right? So then outside that, I added another open and close parentheses and I typed in capital M, A T H dot random. I added this open uh, parentheses in here and it automatically added the closing. So in between the two closings here before the last closing, we're gonna hit space. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna type in 10. It's actually right before the 10, we should type in this aspirin or, my, or star symbol. And uh, I'm gonna end this with a semicolon over here. So this is how we generate random numbers. And again, our variable green is gonna store a random number. Now, th this is going to give us a random number from zero to 10, because I said it 10 digits. So let's test it out. I'm gonna use the system dot out that print line to print out our value. So we're gonna type in capital S, Y, S, T, E, M, dot out, dot print. L N open and close parentheses and then we semicolon inside this open and close parentheses we're going to type in the value of our variable green or type in the name of our variable green I'm sorry G R E E N and it's going to print out the value on the screen so let's hit play see what happens hit play just click on proceed is fine and it printed out four let's try one more hit play again hit proceed and it printed out two again let's try just try one more just to show you how it works and now it printed it out three down here so again if, uh, if we don't give it a number here, it's going to start from zero. And then we added 10 digits. So, so zero plus 10 is nine. So it has a range from zero to nine and it's giving us random numbers from zero to nine. Now, let's say we wanted to start from another number. Let's say we wanted to start from, let's say 10, uh, 10 to 20, right? So right before this here, right before this open and close parentheses here, after this equal symbol, we're going to type in, let's say, uh, say 10, then hit space, then we're going to use this uh, plus symbol here, then hit space. Now, uh, what we did, we, 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 added, uh, we added 10, so now we're at the 10th place, or so we're starting from 10, and, and we're still keeping 10, so it's going to count to 10 digits, so it's going to be 10 to 20, basically. It adds, if you just add these two together, that, that's, uh, that's how you know uh, where it's going to end. That this is where it's going to start, you add it with this and this is where it's going to end. So 10 is, is going to start from 10 and end in 20. So let's hit play here. Proceed. It gave us 10. Let's hit play again. Proceed. It gave us 19. Let's hit play again. Hit proceed. Now it gave us 17. All right, so let's try another one. Let's say 50. If we want to start from 50, we just add 50 here, right? And uh, let's say we want a range of 50 to 100. Again, we just add another 50, right? This is, this is just adding digits. So 50 plus 50 is 100. So it's going to start from 50, and it's going to end in 100. That's our range. So that we're going to generate a number from that range. So let's hit play. Hit proceed again. We got 79 down here. Hit play. Proceed. Now down here, we got 67. One more. Play. Proceed. Now we got 92. So again, you here... If you don't give it a value, let's say uh, you delete this here and it's just int, it's going to start from zero, right? Now, if you st then it, it, let's say zero to 50 here, 
and uh, you, this you use to uh, give it uh, the amount of digits. You, you tell it how many digits you want to go up. I want it to go up 50 digits, so, so 0 of 50. So let's hit play here. So 21. And that's pretty much it. Again, start from a specific number. All you have to do is add it here right before the, this uh, INT in the parentheses. So let's say if you want to start from 5, you just hit 5 here, space, plus symbol, hit space. Now it's going to start from 5, and it's going to go up, on here it's going to go up 50 spots. So it's going to end in 55, so you just add the 2 basically. So it's going to start from 5, and it's going to end at 55. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys like this tutorial, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from Rossmartech.com, and thanks for watching.